Are we, are we good? Okay. Uh, my name is Jonah Casamero. I am an ukulele player. Um, I'm originally from the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, I live on Oahu here now. And uh, I play ukulele every single day. Every single day? Every single day. Hello, my name is Gordon Mark. Mm -hmm. And I am from Honolulu, Hawaii. I was born and raised here. And I've lived here all my life. All your life? Right. Oh, okay. Well, I would just let them know ukulele is a string instrument. You know, it's in the string family. It's got f uh, four notes on it, G, C, E, and A. And you play it by chording, which is going to be these harmonies. Or you would play it by picking, which is single notation pulling, you know? Well, there are four sizes, really. Well, the standard is smaller than this. This would be the second size, called the concert. This is a tenor size, and the one larger than this would be the baritone. And, and I would compare it, or say, to maybe a violin, viola, cello, and bass. Same shape, different sizes, tuned, uh, of course, lower uh, as you go to the larger sizes. I think there's, there's a lot of things special about it. <laughs> uh, you know, for me personally, it's Hawaiian and, um, you know, music was something that brought people together and that's what it was, it was called Kani Kapila. You know, and I jam one, you jam one. And it was just a gathering and it brought people together. This group has been meeting here uh, in the daytime for probably 30 years, 35 years. It's a camaraderie of other people in the group that kind of makes it fun. You play by yourself, you have to get really good at it. That's a lot of hard work. <laughs> In particular for the ukulele, the tuning is G, C, E, and A. And it's, it's high octave to high octave, so you get this happier sound. You know, as far as music is concerned, you know, theoretically it makes a happier sound. And so I think it catches a lot of people because it sounds cheerful and it's just something that puts a smile on your face. Okay, here's what, what I feel about the ukulele. Um, I, I treat my ukuleles as if they were people, okay? And um, then when I have an instrument that I feel uh, that I don't use as often, but I've used a lot, 
then when I retire that instrument, I just wrap it up in silk and put it in the case and put it away. Yeah. Really, I, I love the instrument itself. It's, it's, it's just helped me throughout my life, you know. It's how I support myself, you know. It's how I've supported my, myself when I was depressed and I, I've had hard times, you know. It's how I have a good time with my friends. So I really have a respect for the instrument. So some of my vintage pieces, you know, I want to preserve the history, you know. I, I'd like to pass it on to my, my, my children. The instrument becomes a part of me because after you know you play play with the instrument for 30, 40, 50 years, um, I, I think part of your soul or your spirit is embedded in the instrument, and so if that is the case, if the instrument becomes a part of me, that means I, I you know we all take care of ourselves you know physically and mentally, so then uh, I need to take care of me, which is the instrument. My ukulele would say to me, hmm, give me a fret adjustment and a polish right now. <laughs> no, really, um, I hope they would just be happy. You know, I, tr I, try, I try and show uh, a certain amount of love to each one. You know, I don't, I don't want to neglect them, but um, I just hope my ukulele would be, would be happy with the way, you know, I represent the instrument and, uh, you know, just the way I feel about it in general. Really, I, I hope uh, my issue will know how much I do appreciate it, you know. Besides all the times you get knocked around or maybe I break a string, I hope you understand how much I love you. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Silence. <laughs> so the question or, or the answer to your question, I would think that the instrument would say to me, uh, thank you for taking care of me in, in a certain way, in a certain manner. Something that I don't like. Nope. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. I love this instrument through and through. End to end, you know what I mean? From nut to tattle. <laughs> so, uh, pretty much no, because, you know, I can't ever see any negativity that's came from it. You know what I mean? I, I just... I can't think of one single thing, you know, that, that's just negative about it. And maybe that's why I love it so much, because it's just that positive driving force for me. You know, I guess that would make a lot of sense. You know, it's, uh, it's something I have no problem and no issue with. Pure and simple. <laughs> that.